Welcome back for episode 13 of the Eduardo series. Today, we're addressing Pastor Eduardo's claim that For the law made nothing perfect. So if you are under the law, you can't be perfect. To do that, we'll need to search the scriptures like the Bereans did to see whether these things are so. But first, let's hear what Pastor Eduardo has to say about it. But also, we keep a new covenant and don't revert to the Old Testament because the Old Testament makes nothing you know what the next word is? Perfect. Perfection, completion was not to be had under the Old Testament system. This is just not so, and it's easily seen by reading just a few Old Testament scriptures. Genesis 17.1 says, And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me, and be thou perfect. Deuteronomy 18.13 Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Perfection was to be had under the Old Testament system, and God commanded it. And in Matthew 5.48, Jesus, who lived under the so-called Old Testament system, said, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect, exactly as he already commanded in the law he gave to Moses. Do you think he would command of us something that we're not capable of? That is capitalized on by the Hebrew writer, Hebrews 7, back in verse 19 when he said, For the law made nothing perfect. So if you are under the law, you can't be perfect. If you're trying to keep the law of Moses... You'll never be perfect. See? This idea that Pastor Wardo has is in direct conflict with what the Old Testament clearly says about several people in the Old Testament who were perfect. Genesis 6-9 says that Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. Look at Job 1-1. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. And also Asa, king of Judah, in 1 Kings 15.14. Asa's heart was perfect with the Lord all his days. So, in the Old Testament, even under the law of Moses, you could be perfect. Hebrews 9 and verse 9 says, Which was a figure for the time and present, in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect, as pertaining to the conscience. And then Hebrews 10, 1. How that the law having a shadow of good things to come and not the very image of the things can never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually make the comers thereunto perfect. And so the law made nothing perfect. It is true that the Bible says the law made nothing perfect. But that doesn't mean that the law was not perfect. Look at Psalm 19, 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. God's law, the law he gave through Moses, is perfect. It just can't make anything perfect. The words on the pages of this book can't make you do anything. But when we with a heart of flesh do what the law says, that's what makes us perfect. Look at 2 Timothy 3, 16-17. All scripture, that would include the law of Moses, is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. So yes, the law made nothing perfect, because the written law can't make you do anything, although the law itself is perfect. But we who have faith and a heart of flesh with God's law written in it can be perfect. But guess what? By way of contrast, James 1.25 talks about the perfect law of liberty. Remember James and his writing, Whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty. That's not the law of Moses. That's the new covenant. This statement is a pile of confusion that contradicts itself. It would make a little more sense, maybe, if Pastor Wardo said, That's not the law of Moses, that's the law of Christ. Or, That's not the old covenant, that's the new covenant. But to say, That's not the law of Moses. That's the new covenant. That just confuses the issue even more, because if you remember from the last episode, law and covenant and testament 
all don't mean the same thing. But let's see if we can figure out what law it is that James is writing about. James 125 But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. James 2, 8 through 12. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin, and are convinced of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. And what is the law of liberty? Psalm 119, 44-45 says, So shall I keep thy law continually forever and ever, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. As you can see, just about everything James says here comes directly from the law. So how can we come along without searching the scriptures and say, That's not the law of Moses. That's the new covenant. And as Paul would write in the letter to the Colossians, which emphasizes completeness in Christ, he said in Colossians 2 and verse 10, And you're complete in him. You couldn't be complete in Moses, but we're complete in Christ. I hope by now you can see from many clear verses that you could be perfect under the law of Moses, and several people were perfect in the Old Testament, and kept the perfect law of God that brings liberty to those who keep it. And now we know from searching the scriptures that when James talks about the perfect law of liberty, he is talking about the law of Moses. So what we can learn from this is that if we want to be perfect as God commands us to, we should keep the law of Moses. nothing perfect. So if you are under the law, you can't be perfect. James 1.25 talks about the perfect law of liberty. That's not the law of Moses. That's the new covenant. Hi everyone. If you have a reason or a verse for why we should not keep the law of God given through Moses, leave it in the comments section below and I'll try to answer it biblically in a bonus 16th episode at the end of this series. Thanks for watching.